Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So um, this morning's been a little hectic, but I really just wanted to stop and actually do the intro for this video. So I just got back from Nashville last night. I went to go see my family. My brother-in-law just came back from deployment and his quarantine. So before school started, I wanted to see her and my best friend, um, but I'm finally back home. I have a lot to catch up on, I have a lot of work to do. As y'all saw in the clips, I got my COVID test. Although I did get the vaccine, I just wanted to get the test just to be sure, because you can still get COVID even when you get the vaccine. Um, so I got the test, negative, and then I got some Chick-fil-A for lunch, which I still haven't gotten to. I am drinking my frosted coffee though. Uh, um, but I wanted to do a mini vlog. School starts in less than two weeks. So I really wanna get everything together. My office is also starting to come together as well. So while I was gone, my fiance actually set up my um, couch and my new desk. And so I'm just waiting on a few more pieces for my office, but I wanna show you all that. I wanna organize my new desk with you guys and then do some back to school shopping as well. But I figured this would be a great vlog. So if you excuse the mess, I'll actually flip the camera around so y'all can see everything. Okay, again, this is still a work in progress. Say hi to Mira. Um, but when you first walk in, I have my new couch. So I absolutely love this couch. It's a sleeper, so you can use it as um, additional bedding. Uh, Mira and I actually used it last night. She loves it. She's been hanging up on here. And the best part about this couch is so if you come over here and you pull this down, you have a drink holder. And so you can have drinks, um, you can use it as a mini table, and you can just relax. But I really love that. And I just love the design. I'm doing that retro glam um, makeover in here as well because I just loved everything that I did downstairs. I have one strip of wallpaper up, so the other four are coming. But I just wanted to see what it would look like and test how hard it was. Um, wallpaper is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like I knew it was going to be hard, but it's a lot harder than I anticipated. But I got this because I just thought it was really retro. I loved the color scheme. Normally I'm not a colorful person, as you all know, but lately I've just been into different colors. So uh, I'm excited for this. And I think it's going to look so good with like this entire wall. Up until the door, I'm not going to do behind the door. Um, but this like section... Um, I think it's just gonna look so good with the wallpaper and the couch. And then I have, um, let me go over here. That gold mirror is gonna go above the couch. And I just, I think, I can't wait to see it all together. And then we got the accent table. And then I just have um, one of my planner cards. This has work stuff on it. This is the new desk. So ignore the mess. Y'all have seen the new chair, but this is the new desk. I do wanna go to Hobby Lobby and get some new knobs because I'm not a huge fan of the knobs. But I'm finally excited to have drawers back. This one has more depth to it, so there's more room, which I preferred. The other one was longer, but it was narrow. So I really wanted more space this way as opposed to this way. And then I have my Mac on there. And then I got a new fan because I just thought it went with everything. It's also a lot more quieter than my last one at my lunch. And then we actually have a TV in here. So this TV was actually in our loft. And so I moved my old bookshelves in the loft and that's gonna be more of just a quieter place to chill. But because they weren't using the TV, I asked my fiance, hey, what do you think about me just putting in my office? Cause he has a TV in his office. And that way you can sit on the couch, like, like Mira, so exhibit A, and then you can just watch TV. And then I can have stuff going um, while I'm working and have uh, my window space back but I decided a TV in here, I really like it. So I've moved the Apple TV in here, and, or one of our Apple TVs in here, and I have a TV in my office. And that way people are staying in here, they have a TV to watch as well, so. We have that, 
And then here is the bookshelves. So this is where the work in progress is so the middle one is like on back order i think i don't i haven't gotten shipping notification and so i'm still waiting on that i just have some storage up there but i just put everything that was on my bookshelves on here but yeah that's the current office it's slowly coming together um now that i have the big pieces in here i was waiting to buy area rugs so um i think i'm gonna get like a little four by six rug and get like an off-white or like an ivory to go with the pillows and then I don't know. I kind of want an area rug over here. I'm not in a rush too because it's about to be summer and it's about to get warm. But I just think an ivory rug for sure here. Um, I don't want to do another pattern because there's the huge, like, it's going to be a lot of pattern up here. But in this corner, you're not going to see a lot of pattern. So I think I might get a patterned rug over here. I don't know. I'm still figuring that out. If y'all have any suggestions or if y'all can think of anything that would look good in here and you want to leave the links below, that'd be great. Or if you want to message it to me, um, I would love that because I'm still figuring like that part out and I'm not good with like rugs and wall decor. But other than that, that's the office. So let me get the camera back around. And so what we're going to do for the rest of this video and the day is head over to Target, get some organizers, organize the desk. I'm so sorry, my tripod is acting weird. And then come back, organize the desk. I have my orientation for school on Wednesday, today's Monday. So this is gonna be like a multi-day vlog and it might be a little bit longer than normal just cause I wanna include all the content. And um, we'll do the desk organization today and then during orientation I'll share what that was like and then we'll get like school stuff together. I'm gonna order textbooks and show y'all what I do when I buy textbooks. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of school related content, but a lot of organization content as well. So just normal stuff for this channel. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to Target, take a look around and then start organizing this desk. Okay, so after two trips and two reconfigurations, I've decided what I wanna do. So I got the clear tray, and so I'm probably gonna keep mail and loose leaf paper in here. I ordered the small tray um, that sits up here and the tape dispenser that'll go on there. So I'll have the tape dispenser in here, and then I can keep um, like pens and stuff up there. And so I ordered that online and it'll come in. That probably won't be in this vlog, but I'll probably show y'all on Instagram or the next one. We're gonna have that. Then we keep my main planner here. This is just gonna be like mail and different things like that. And then I'll have that tray for some more accessories like the tape dispenser and pens. And then over here is where we get into more of the like actual organization. So in here we have these noted by post-it organizers, which I've seen before. Um, I've had these, um, but I just put all my sticky notes down here, all of my stickers. And then this is a noted by post-it organizer. And then I got this whole punch because it's so pretty. This is from Russell and Hazel and Target and then the calculator. And I just love how everything looks together and how organized it is. Um, I, as you know, I love the acrylic, um, but that is the desk. Okay, y'all, it is Wednesday. So the week just took on a life of its own. So it's been pretty hectic. Um, so, it's Wednesday, so it's Wednesday, I just got off work and I actually have orientation tonight in, and I'm gonna be ordering my textbooks now. So we're about to do that. Other than that, for back to school prep on Monday night, I filmed, edited, and upload my several videos, two videos, but one of them was the A5 setup that includes my school planner section. And so I'll have that linked below. It should be the video before this, I believe. But I did that and I have my planner set up for school. As for supplies and accessories, um, as you know, I have plenty of stuff. I'm debating whether or not to make a notebook. I think I'm gonna figure that out after 
the orientation tonight or I might wait till the first week of school to see what I want to do. Um, I've seen the syllabus. I've seen um, the book list. So I know we have a lot of readings to do and I know I'm um, kind of like a timeline on that. But I want more details on the assignments and the research paper that we have to do for this first class before I set up my notebook um, just to get like a better understanding of the class and the structure of uh, my program since you know this is my first semester so I'm waiting on that and then before I get more school supplies as you know I have plenty of like sticky notes and different things like that but I do love getting stuff at Erin Condren um, for every semester and I will probably get some bookmarks and some sticky notes and some smaller sticky notes not my cloth and paper sticky notes that I use in my planner to just mark in my books since I'm buying the physical copies and Again, I want to wait for to see more details on the assignments so I know exactly what I need. But yeah, that's where we're at. But yeah, I'm probably going to make a smoothie as a little pick-me-up and then order some textbooks. And then I'm just going to hang out with Mira until orientation starts. Okay, y'all, so I am buying my textbooks and Mira is sleeping. But um, I'm buying my textbooks and so... I was going to the bookstore and look at all the options. And this is what I do for every semester. Um, so let's see the rent and the buy. But um, what I do is I copy the ISBN. And then I always look on Amazon first. And if I can find things for a reasonable price between um, the school bookstore and Amazon, I always get on Amazon because I can get it right away. Um, but one thing that you always want to make sure is that the ISBN actually matches because sometimes if Amazon doesn't have it, they will put an older version in the recommended. So I always recommend that you check the ISBN when you do that. So right now I'm just going through this huge list of books that I need to buy for my two classes and I'm um, just opening them in different tabs. And then I'm going to look at all the different pricing options. Um, as y'all know, I'm a planner person. I like paper and pen. I like writing in my notes, especially since I have to write a lot of papers in my doctoral program. So I want to buy every single book. So Amazon's always the cheapest. And so um, I also want to highlight and um, take notes and different things like that, bookmark. So I'm buying all the physical copies of the book. And so I'm okay. So I think I found all of the books on Amazon. So whenever you type in the ISBN, you search and you click on the one you want, always double check the ISBN right here to make sure it's the correct edition, um, especially if you know you're going to need a specific edition because as I mentioned, Amazon, it'll do like, it could do the wrong edition if they don't have the most recent edition. So you always want to double check the ISBN. Um, but yeah, I always compare um, bookstore price to Amazon price. And then um, if I don't have like, you know, a cheap price or if Amazon doesn't have it, because sometimes they don't have all the textbooks, I look on Chegg um, and you can also rent there too. But again, I like writing in my books, so I always buy them. Um, but I like Chegg or eCampus Bookstore. eCampus Bookstore is also really good to sell your books back to. But yeah, I'm gonna be ordering all of these and as you'll see, I'll be able to get them really early. But just a few like buying book tips. Always make sure that the ISBN matches before you add it to your cart, just so you always have the correct edition. So I got all my textbooks purchased. The only thing I'll need to get is, um, I think it's like some software for probably some assignments for my second session. So I'll worry about that in the summer. But all of my textbooks for school are So ordered. I just got done with our orientation. So it was about an hour and a half long and it was all virtual. Um, but it was really good. So I got to learn a little bit more about the program. I get to go to residency this year. Um, so they were debating whether or not to cancel it because they had canceled it last year, but because people are getting the vaccines and they're implementing, um, or they've had um, all the safety precautions put in place, we're going to have residency. So I'm very excited to go to school. Um, so I will share it here now. So when I go to school, I will actually do a vlog. I've been really excited for this. So um, it's the week after Memorial Day weekend, and so I'm going to fly up early. Um, my brother lives close to the school, so I'm going to go see my brother um, for Memorial Day weekend. And then I'm going to go to school, and then I'm going to do, I'm saying like an extra day in Portland, just so I can like enjoy and go around um, the city, because I love Portland and um, just different things. But I'm going to vlog, because I really want to bring y'all with for all of this. I really wanted to do a vlog like this, where I kind of show y'all how I prep for school, 
what I'm doing, time frame, timeline. Um, I'll probably do like my first week. Um, I'll do a vlog that week because as I mentioned, I'll be putting together my notebook for sure. Um, this is just stuff that I want to have ready and in place. Different things like that. I just want to share that kind of content with you guys so y'all can see what I have. Um, I know I've been out of school a year and a half, um, but it's just the exact same stuff that I've normally done in the past. But yeah, um, this is just prep and getting things um, organized and situated so that we're good to go when school starts. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm actually going to end the vlog here because I'm not sure if there's anything else here. So other than that, that is going to be it for this video. If y'all want to see anything or have any questions when it comes to school, how I study, how I prepare, how, um, what residency is like, if y'all want to see something in particular, um, I'm not sure I'm going to like record in the school if that makes sense. Um, but I'll probably do like recaps and stuff and then show y'all around like my campus and things. Um, but if y'all want to see anything in these upcoming videos, I try and let y'all know a little bit in advance, um, but feel free to DM me, leave a comment. Um, if y'all want to see something, let me know and I'll always try and include it if I can remember. Um, but I think for the most part, I try and get everything and I think I get everything. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.